Back out, you're in a radiation field. This is a radioactive source. It contains cesium-137, a powerful emitter of radiation. Prolonged exposure to it can cause injury or death. Summer 2006, a new campaign to detect lost sources in Georgia. Right here. The Keti village in the country's northwest. An IAEA and Georgian team starts its hunt. Unknown to locals, a cesium source is sitting in a box of nuts and bolts next to a family bedroom. An abandoned military complex. A powerful source is found in a pile of dirt on the floor. Georgia was plunged into poverty after the breakup of the Soviet Union. A legacy of its industrial decline was loss of control of radioactive devices, used widely in manufacturing. Experts call them orphan sources. In Georgia and elsewhere, they've caused death and they've scarred lives. But looking for them in this rugged country is as challenging as finding a needle in a hundred haystacks. Nevertheless, since the mid-1990s, as many as 300 radioactive sources have been recovered. Well, our goal is to get control of these sources and to manage sources. They need to be under regulatory control. They need to be under safe and secure storage and uh, have them known where they are and locked up and only in authorized use. So we have to find these lost sources. And so our goal is to support the Georgians in that effort. This abandoned industrial site in the foothills of the Caucasian mountains is in the region of Racha, among the last areas of Georgia to be searched. The site has been stripped of anything of value and orphan sources may have been included in the scrap metal collected here. During a rigorous search, nothing was found. Since 1997, the IAEA's work with Georgia has been part of its global effort to improve the security of radioactive sources and nuclear material. Every country in the world has lost sources of radiation, um, some more than others, and some have been tackling the problem more than others. Georgia's made a huge effort uh, to find their sources, but look at this spectacular country. It's mountainous, it's remote, so it's particularly hard to find them here. This report was prepared by the IAEA for UNTV, CNN World Report.